want to show you like I'm wearing my Osni cloak right now and uh, it is so nice and toasty it's so it's so warm and comfortable I want to show a quick transition from wearing a poncho to making a shelter uh, without having to be exposed to the elements too much all right so I'm coming along I've got my this is a super UL super ultralight poncho Sil nylon I've got on over top of my Osni. I don't have it snapped all the way down because I don't always do that. It depends on the, the conditions. But I'm wearing it. And so now I need to take this and make it into a shelter to protect myself at least temporarily. To unsnap it here. Get it to uh, get it off of me. Use one of these one of our frying pan bags here <laughs> that I use for everything but, but I've got my the rest of my poncho stuff inside of there so what I'm going to do is uh, go this tree to this tree right here I can go about about rib cage high right here okay come around here and uh, all right, so if you're making a shelter like this with the poncho, which I just took off uh, just in time to throw that over, what you want to do is face, you want to face the hood down so it doesn't catch any moisture. I'm going to make it a little bit longer in the back. right here with this see I've got my taut line hitch right here so if I shove the tab right through the fork in the taut line and then I shove a stick through there like that and pull back on it now I've just secured this in without having to do anything I'll pull this over I've got two ways I can do that uh, one way one way that I can do it is I can use a piece of shock cord out of my uh, tarp accessory kit for ponchos so I can put a piece of shock cord around there if I want to which I have right here and that's what I'm going to do today or I could use the easy clips that I have also but it'd be kind of nice to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of shock cord constant tensioning on this thing so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it that way so all I do is go around the tree right here well, I'm gonna have to stretch it a little to get it to go so I'm gonna shove it through the loop first so that way I don't have to fumble with it under tension go around the tree and I just pull back on it however much I want, slide my cord lock down. All right now I'm under good tension here on the tarp. I just need to stake down the back, pull out the front. All right, so I'm going to, I've got a little piece of shock cord that holds all my tent stakes together. Put the rest of them here in my hoodie pocket All right. pull out here the best I can I think I might just drive these right in yeah, yeah. just gonna drive these right in because the ground is a little bit frozen I'm about to cut a stick to drive that the rest of the way over here, what you can't see, oh now you can. Okay, this ground's a little harder here than the other side. So pound those in with a stick. I gotta cut me something I can use for a hammer here. So probably.
Okay. Now back to camp. Yeah, this in here does not want to stay too bad. Because the ground's frozen. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the shock cord this time on this one. Let it pass up over the head like that. And Pull that down like that. Get us a piece of cord here. A piece of cord here and we'll do us the little Swedish knot there and come out to a tent stake. So you'll see that by us using, giving you four tent stakes, that we're putting up a poncho that works pretty good for putting a poncho up for shelter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my top line right here once, twice to the inside, kind of tighten up on that a little bit. Once to the outside, drop it, pull back, apply a little tension here, and a little pull here to dress it, a little push there, push there, tighten it, good. All right. Now all of our cordage, all of our cordage comes with comes wound in a figure eight so it will deploy without tangling. That's going to be important if you're in a situation where you got to cut, set up a quick shelter. You don't want to be fumbling around with a tangle cord. Okay. I think I want to get enough sideways tension this way to, to hold it decent. And I've got a tent stake in my hoodie pocket here. All right, so pound this dude in here. Oh, hard, hard as a rock. There we go. All right. One thing nice about those Easton tent stakes is they're pretty, pretty tough. Now, nothing's unbreakable, but you know. I don't have stuff you don't have to worry about too much anyway. Two to the inside, one to the outside, drop it, cinch it up, tighten it a bit, dress it out. There we go. And we're good to go right there. Okay, so there's my there's my shelter. Right there, I'm pretty good. I do like to I like to peek these things a lot, so I think I like about a waist-high stick. All right, here's something I can use here for a stick. Right there, a couple of a couple of dead pieces here. Yeah, this looks straighter. I'll cut it actually right here. We could break it too, just about as easy. All right, let's go back to shelter. Like that. Now I want to be about so high right here. Now Put that up around that stick. I got a little nub right there. So 
I could use another piece of cord, pull out on it if I want to just leave it like that. That's really fine right there. Got a lot of pine trees right here, but a little bit. Then clean up some of these lower branches here. We're in a survival situation. I would just grab everything the closest I could get it and call it good. Alright, we'll take that back to camp. Suitable spot right here. Now I want to want to lay these in here for mostly for city. So I put all my put all my stub ends to the outside. That way I don't have I don't have any kind of stub end that I'm actually sitting on any kind of a sharp point here. And you see I've I've got enough stuff here to So if I wanted to spread all out long ways I got enough here I could I could sleep under it. There you go right there. Pretty quick little shelter and pretty good. The the snow's coming from more of that direction there. So I'm a little bit out of the elements. And I can wear this uh, Osni and, uh, and just uh, do my best with that or I can lay it out as a blanket or a sleeping bag or whatever and just be on these boughs. I can rearrange the boughs as needed to give myself some length because I can go clear back up into there. I uh, shoved a stick up into the hood and I just trimmed the stick off so there's no sharp edges on it. Shoved it up into the hood and because I'm tied down on all four corners and I'm shock corded on the back, I've got some give and all that. I can shove it up in here. Now that gives me a lot of headroom up inside of here. Provides extra drainage for the rain and, and all that sort of thing. And so. That puts me in a pretty good position right here just by adding it. All right, so grab me a little bit more boughs, extended out my area here for a bed. Now you see with this poncho, I not only have headroom and everything, but I've got the length right here for a bed. And I could go on this side of the pole or this side of the pole, either one. You could put two people under here, really, depending on what the weather is. You might lower the top down a little bit to close you in a little more. You could angle one side more than the other one. Uh, you know, it's totally up to what you need and how you set this thing up. 